a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. The Lincoln Lawyer, Film The Lincoln Lawyer is a 2011 American neo-noir legal thriller film adapted from the novel of the same name by Michael Connelly. The film is directed by Brad Furman, with a screenplay written by John Romano, and stars Matthew McConaughey as the titular lawyer, Mickey Alley. The film co-stars Ryan Felipe, Marissa Tomei, and Josh Lucas, and features William H. Macy and Brian Cranston in supporting roles. The story is adapted from the first of several novels featuring the character of Mickey Alley, who works out of a chauffeur-driven Lincoln town car rather than an office. Alley is hired to defend the son of a wealthy Los Angeles businesswoman in an assault case. Details of the crime bring up uncomfortable parallels with a former case, and Alley discovers the two cases are intertwined. Plot Criminal defense attorney Mickey Alley operates around Los Angeles County, mostly from the back seat of his black Lincoln Town car, chauffeured by Earl. Most of Haller's career has been defending garden variety criminals, including a local biker club led by Eddie Vogel. A high profile case comes his way, and Alley is hired to represent wealthy Louis Roulet, a Beverly Hills playboy, and son of real estate mogul Mary Windsor. Roulet is accused of brutally beating prostitute Regina Campo. Roulet insists he is the innocent victim of a setup. Ale and his investigator, Frank Levin analyze photos and evidence and find it similar to one of Haller's past cases that resulted in a life sentence for his client, Jesus Martinez, for murdering a woman, despite his repeatedly proclaiming his innocence. Haller's ex-wife, prosecutor Maggie McPherson, has never appreciated Ale representing guilty clients though they remain close. Ale wonders if he should have done more for Martinez rather than persuading him to plead guilty to avoid the death penalty. Ale visits the prison, where Martinez becomes agitated when Ale shows him Roulette's photo. Ale now believes Roulet is the killer in the Martinez case, but, bound by attorney-client confidentiality rules, is unable to reveal what he knows. Roulet breaks into Haller's house and nonchalantly admits to committing the murder for which Martinez was convicted. He makes veiled threats toward Haller's ex-wife and their daughter. Levin is found shot to death after leaving Alley a voicemail message claiming that he found Martinez ticket out of jail. Levin was shot with a .22 caliber pistol, and Alley discovers that his late father's .22 Colt Woodsman is missing from its box. Detective Langford, who dislikes Alley, discovers the gun's registration and suspects Haller's involvement in Levin's murder. Alley is certain that Roulet stole the weapon, when he broke into Haller's home. Obliged to do his best for his client, guilty or not, Alley ruthlessly cross-examines Campo, and discredits her in the jury's eyes. Alley then sets up a known prison informant with information on the previous murder. When the informant testifies, Alley discredits him and the state's attorney can only move to dismiss all charges. Roulet is set free, to his mother's delight, but the police arrest him immediately for the previous murder, based upon testimony Alley coaxed from the informant. Alley acquires a pistol from his driver, Earl, for protection. Roulet is released due to lack of evidence and intends to kill Haller's ex-wife and daughter. Alley is waiting at Maggie's house when Roulet arrives. He mockingly tells Alley that he cannot guard his family all the time. The bikers whom Alley previously represented suddenly arrive and brutally beat Roulet. Maggie discovers that Levin had found a parking ticket that was issued to Roulet near the previous murder victim's house. It is strong evidence against Roulet in his pending murder trial and will support Martinez's innocence. Upon arriving home, Alley discovers Roulette's mother, Mary Windsor, waiting inside. She shoots him with the Colt Woodsman, confessing that she murdered Levin to protect her son. A wounded Alley shoots her. When Alley is released from the hospital, he learns that Martinez has been released, and that the district attorney will seek the death penalty against Roulet. As Alley rides off to his next case, he is pulled over by Vogel and the biker gang, whose next case he takes pro bono due to their previous help. Reception after watching a rough cut of the film on November 12, 2010, Michael Connelly, author of the book The Lincoln Lawyer, said, The film received positive reviews, scoring an 83%, certified fresh, rating on Rotten Tomatoes, based on 166 reviews, with an average rating of 6. 6 tenths. The site's critics' consensus reads, It doesn't offer any twists on the predictable courtroom thriller formula, 
but with a charming Matthew McConaughey leading its solid cast, The Lincoln Lawyer offers briskly enjoyable entertainment. At Metacritic, which assigns a rating out of 100 to reviews from mainstream critics, the film received an average score of 63, based on 30 reviews, which indicates generally favorable reviews. Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times gave the film three stars out of a possible four, saying, The plotting seems like half-realized stabs in various directions made familiar by other crime stories. But for what it is, The Lincoln Lawyer is workmanlike, engagingly acted and entertaining. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know